Hi friends, I'm Gerard Korea, an upcoming second year medical student at Cebu Institute of Medicine. And today, I will be sharing with you a short review of the 10 apps that helped me pass first year med. I will focus only on certain points as these apps will be discussed in detail in separate videos. If you want more content like this, or if you want to learn some strategies to pass med, feel free to click on the subscribe button. First of all, this video is not sponsored by the following apps. Among the apps that I've used, these are the ones that helped me during first year medicine. Unfortunately, some of these apps are paid, but they do go on sale such as the Visible Body series. I will of course mention if the apps are paid or not, or even if their paid versions are worth it. Very first among the list is GoodNotes 5. Being fond of taking notes in paper notebooks back then, I found out that GoodNotes was the perfect digital substitute for me. Notability is also among the popular apps. It actually took me some time to decide what to use between the two, but after watching several reviews, GoodNotes was the one for me. However, if Notability works with you, then go ahead. One of the reasons why I chose GoodNotes over Notability was its concept of creating notebooks with pages. Being used to making notes in notebooks back then, I found this better than Notability's unlimited page feature. GoodNotes is basically an app that holds your digital notebooks. You can also import PDF files such as books into GoodNotes. When using GoodNotes as a reading app, it allows you to highlight, underline, or even write on the pages. I seldom do this since I use GoodNotes as a note-taking app during lectures. In my experience, GoodNotes is really efficient when it comes to lectures as you can write down your notes quickly during lectures or even draw diagrams. Among the other features of GoodNotes is that it also has the ability to search the words that you wrote or copied. A unique feature of GoodNotes is that it allows you to customize the cover of your notebooks. GoodNotes, however, is a paid app at the price of $7.99 or 399 pesos. But with almost a year of experience using GoodNotes, and with the reviews made also by my friends, I can guarantee GoodNotes is an app worth having. I will talk about these two apps together since they are both similar in function. Adobe Acrobat is probably among one of the most famous apps used for reading books. The problem, however, with Adobe Acrobat is that sometimes it takes a while for the app to open a page or a diagram. This is where Sado comes in. Sado has a faster opening time compared to Adobe Acrobat and also has the ability to create multiple tabs. I usually use Adobe Acrobat and Sado side by side in two windows especially in subjects like anatomy. You can view diagrams in Sodo while read on paragraphs in Acrobat. Both Adobe Acrobat and Sodo are free apps. Among all of the reading apps, Inkling is my personal favorite. Inkling provides a very smooth or clean arrangement of topics. The downside, however, of Inkling is that it's sort of a paid app in which you input the codes given by purchasing a book that has an Inkling version. I use Inkling when I'm reading Guyton and Hall, a textbook of medical physiology. Inkling arranges the topics in a manner which makes it easier for you to jump from certain topics to another with ease. The features of Inkling include a sample quiz for each chapter, an identify quiz for diagrams, and my favorite one is their video animations. Inkling has a video animation bank for certain topics. This by far is one of the best apps for anatomy that I've encountered, but I'm saying it as early as now, the only drawback, however, is its price. Visible Body Atlas 2020 will cost you 24.99 US dollars or 1,250 pesos. However, they do have a sale which drops down the price to 1 dollar or 50 pesos, which I think is really worth it. The Visible Body Atlas is not the only app created by Visible Body. They also have Muscles, Anatomy and Physiology, Physiology and Pathology, and other apps. However, we will only talk about Visible Body Atlas for this video and there will be a separate video about my review for the other Visible Body apps. So hit the subscribe button so that you'll be able to see future videos. Among the several features of the Visible Body Atlas, the notable ones are Bony Landmarks, cross-sectional view, a quiz function, a muscle feature which includes isolation of muscle, insertion origin innervation and blood supply of muscles, 
and even muscle movement. A new function, which by far is one of the most interesting things I've seen in an anatomy app, is the AR mode or augmented reality mode. It allows you to view the anatomic model as if it was in your room. In my experience, Visible Body Atlas has helped me especially in the muscles topic as you can isolate each muscle and view their details. For all the visual learners out there or those who are fond of using mnemonics, this is the perfect app for you. Although a payment is required in order to access all of the features of the app, the free version works completely well. It even helped me during my review for the MedTech licensure exam. Pygmonic, as the name implies, gives picture mnemonics for a certain topic or concept. I found this very helpful in memorizing biochemical pathways to the point that it almost feels like a life hack. Among all of the apps, this app is the game changer for me when it comes to studying. There are several kinds of active recall apps. One of the most popular ones is Quizlet. Anki is basically a flashcard app that integrates spaced repetition. I used Anki on the start of the second semester, and I wished I started Anki since the beginning of the school year. I could have had better grades and spent less time studying. A unique feature of Anki is its capability for customizations. These customizations come in the form of add-ons. Add-ons are user-generated customizations for Anki. There is a ton of user-made add-ons that are free to download. Anki also has a cloud function which syncs all your cards to all your devices. Anki is free for desktop users, but unfortunately it is paid for mobile or iOS at the price of 24.99 US dollars or 1,250 pesos. Habitica, previously known as Habit RPG, is one of the longest productivity apps that I've used. I've been using it for almost four years now. Habitica harnesses the power of accountability. It basically gamifies your life, giving you rewards for a habit that you've been doing or automatically deducting your health for something that you failed to do. The best part of Habitica is the party aspect. Take quests with your friends and battle monsters by accomplishing your habits or tasks. If you fail to do so, not only will your health get deducted, but also your teammates. Collect pets, weapons, and level up your armor. Not only will you improve your Habitica avatar, you will improve your life as well for free. Forest is also part of the apps that I've been using since college. Forest is a popular app and you've probably heard of it already. For those who haven't, it's basically an app that plants a tree if you don't touch your phone and kills the tree if you use your phone. What makes forests more enjoyable is the ability to buy different kinds of trees, as well as study together with your friends in real time using plant together mode. With plant together mode, if you use your phone, both your tree and your friend's tree will die. Forest is a paid app on iOS devices for 1.99 US dollars or 99 Philippine pesos. A lot of things can be used to describe Notion as it is a one-of-a-kind app. My personal description for Notion would be, it's basically a union of Notes app plus Google Calendar plus Google Docs plus Google Sheets and even Tumblr into one single app. When it comes to note-taking, organizing text, and even organizing a database, Notion has it all. It even also has the ability to collaborate so that you can work on something with a team. There will be a separate video on this channel when I show how I use Notion for creating reading lists in first-year medicine. If you are also fond of journaling or planning events, then you should give Notion a try. Its free package is already useful, and with an education email, you can upgrade to Notion Personal Pro for free and unlock more features. There are actually a variety of apps that I've already used when it comes to productivity and studying, but these apps that I've mentioned are the ones that I think will be important for your studies in first-year medicine. Maybe in the future, I might encounter better apps than the ones that I've mentioned, and this video might be updated by then. 
but for now feel free to try these apps if you want. If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe for more digital, medical school, and productivity tips. Whether you have these apps or not, always remember that it is up to you to utilize what you have. One does not simply download an app and automatically get good grades. Comment down below other apps that you use or apps that you want me to review. If not, feel free to watch other videos from this channel and see you in the next video.